to determine the concentration of a solution of sodium hydroxide using a pre-prepared standard solution of oxalic acid. What we need for this experiment is a chemical balance with accuracy to 0,1 grams, a clean 500 milliliter volumetric flask, clean watch glass, a clean funnel, and a wash bottle containing stilled water. Weigh a clean dry watch glass, add 6,3 grams oxalic acid to the watch glass and weigh accurately. Record all the weights and determine the weight of the acid. Using a clean funnel, transfer the acid to the clean 500 milliliter volumetric flask. Use a wash bottle with distilled water to ensure that all the acid has been transferred into the flask. With all the crystals in the flask, add a little distilled water to dissolve the crystals. When dissolved, add more distilled water, filling the flask up to the 500 mm mark. The readings obtained, the mass of the watch glass alone, 32,4 grams. The watch glass with the oxalic acid, 38,7 grams. And the mass of the oxalic acid was 6,3 grams. This gave us a concentration of 0,1 moles per cubic decimeter. For the titration, we will also need a 25 milliliter bulb pipette, a 50 milliliter burette, a conical flask, and a burette stand. Draw up a few milliliters of sodium hydroxide solution into a clean 25 milliliter pipette. Rinse the pipette with a solution and discard the liquid from the pipette. Draw up 25 milliliters sodium hydroxide solution and run it into a conical flask. Record the volume of this on a table. To the sodium hydroxide solution, add four drops of phenolphthalene. Rinse a 50 milliliter burette with a little of the standard oxalic acid solution. Discard this solution. Close the tap of the burette and fill it with standard oxalic acid solution and place it in a burette stand. Open the tap of the burette to adjust the air from the lower end of the burette and also to adjust the meniscus of the solution to the top of the burette. Looking at a lower curve of the meniscus Record the reading on the burette. Place the conical flask with sodium hydroxide below the burette and slowly run acid into the flask. Swirl the flask all the time and stop adding acid the moment the indicator changes from red to clear. Record the reading on the burette and write it down. Calculate the volume of acid used. Empty the flask, rinse well with distilled water and repeat the titration procedure. Get at least three readings and then take the average of these results to give the volume of oxalic acid used. From the results, we can calculate the concentration of the sodium hydroxide solution by using the equation 
concentration of alkali times volume of alkali divided by the concentration of acid times the volume of acid equals the number of moles of alkali divided by the number of moles of acid. This presentation was brought to you by the Cape Town Science Centre made possible by the sponsorship of the Western Cape Education Department.